Global Blocks is a great way to take a block that you've designed and use it again across your website on different pages. And whenever you make a change to one of those blocks, it will sync to the others and update them too. That is great if you're running like advertisements or call to actions or information sections within your page. I have this block here, which is a great lead generator with a form section. And what I want to do is add this to each and every page. To do that, I'm going to turn it into a global block. Go to the block settings all the way to the left. And it is as simple as activating make it global. Once I do this, though, I will need to give this block some conditions and it will give me this pop up asking me what conditions I want to include. Now, the conditions basically mean on which of the pages on my site do I want these to appear? So if you have a WooCommerce store, if you have a blog, etc., you will find them all here in the first drop down and you can choose from these. If you're just running pages, you select your pages. And if you want them to appear on only specific pages, you can select that. But in our case, we want them to appear on all the pages. However, we probably don't want it to appear on something like a 404 page. What we can do is add another display condition. This time, instead of including it, I'm going to click on it and make it exclude. Again, pages, and then I'll select the 404 page here. All the pages that I've created will appear here. And that little green icon shows that it has been published. I can select it and I can add more if there are other pages that I also want to exclude. Once I've done that, save, click out, and for good measure, save again the entire page. I'll go ahead and preview the page on the front end. This is the page we were working on, so no surprises. We expect this block to be here. This is the one that we've turned into a global block. What we expect to see, though, is that when I click on the About page, that it will add this global block. It's going to do so here at the bottom ahead of the footer block. Remember, the footer block by default will always appear at the bottom. And there you go. So this is going to appear now on each and every page. So in my builder, I'm on my home page. And on the front end, I'm on the About page. With the global block, any change I make here, I'll go to this column, overlay, and I'll change the color. Save. Go to the front end. Refresh. And now we scroll down. You can see it has updated. And that update will reflect across all the global blocks. I can even select any of the other pages here. I'll go to the services, single service, scroll down to the bottom, and there's the same block. That's the power of the global blocks. To reuse a global block, let's go to add a new block. And from the block manager, you will see at the top we have global blocks. A thumbnail is generated over here. As it is already added to this page, you will see there's a pop up that tells you that you can't add it again. If you want to take individual control over any of these blocks and unlink it as a global block, go to the specific block all the way to the settings on the left and then detoggle, make it global. Now it will act again like an independent block and any changes you make here will only reflect this block. Just remember, once you've unlinked it, there's no going back. You cannot sync it again later with the others.